Designer Kelly Bean and her family live in a penthouse high above New York City, made all the more spectacular by Kelly's vision of making the interior as close to living in a magical cloud as possible. We have lived here for at least a decade. You could immediately have a sense of the views and that was what initially attracted us to the apartment. It was hard not to be mesmerized by the beautiful views of the park. And Yet at the time when you walked in there was a wall and I know that there's a lot to be said for that moment of taking a pause and then, you know, the big reveal. But I feel like the elevator ride up is enough of a build up. And so we sort of took this wall and closet down and then painted everything white with the idea that we wanted it to feel like we were in a cloud. I knew that I wanted to collaborate with Vladimir Kagan because in addition to being just a legend and an icon, I had heard from so many of my colleagues and friends what a lovely person he was. So he came up here and we talked about having these two opposing white sofas. And then once that was sorted, I knew that I wanted to get this blossom chandelier from Tord Buncha because I had just seen it and Moss had just started carrying it. So I was the first one to have one in New York and it's so beautiful, especially at night, it's very twinkly. I got this antler chandelier, which at the time, to get an antler chandelier, but paint it white, felt like the freshest thing because you took it out of this sort of southwestern vibe and made it something fresh and modern. And yet then after, it became very kind of commonplace. You got to see it over and over and over. And so we did a sort of a, a Cristo and we wrapped it in some inexpensive tool and some laundry cording and it felt sort of fresh again. The art here at the Dining Wall is by a wonderful artist named Kara Ross, and she took photos outside the window just adjacent to where it's installed, literally of the clouds that were there that day, and then printed it on to a wallpaper, to like a canvas, and then came in over and did little bits of silver leaf, platinum leaf, and also she drew with a pencil. So it was, a, you know, kind of a multi-day installation, but I love it because I know it's very specific to that moment in time that day when those clouds look just like that. So that's Rob Wynn. So I love text-based artwork, I always have. And so in this case, it's anything is beautiful if you say it is. And I don't know, for me, that just resonates on so many levels. It's sort of, you can ascribe so many different meanings to it. And when the light hits it, it's as though it's backlit. It really kind of comes alive. We wanted everything to sort of be an open plan, and the family room has a series of works by a 60s painter who was a contemporary of Warhol's, but never really got his due, I think, I mean, Peter G. And so it's a series of color studies he painted on masonite boards, and we stacked them. The Carl Zahn piece feels like it was made for there because it's like wings, it's almost like a bird flew in. And then we just have a very simple B&B Italia sofa that we've had forever, and we all hang out on the sofa and, and watch television, and we needed sort of a big ottoman to put our feet on and to also be able to sort of lay on and sit on. And I just love the idea of it being a flower. It sort of references back one of the themes in Peter's paintings. So it's my flower power ottoman. Oh, and I have a new piece, a new a pink chair by Thomas Barger. The chair has four legs, four chubby legs, and right where the rug meets the corner, the leg goes like this, as though it was meant to, and it was saying, it's okay. I'm not gonna have to make it so you shim up the rest of the legs. I'm just gonna go like this. I can't tell you every time I look at it, it charms the hell out of me. So Elvis in the playroom, well, my husband and I, it was a good seven years before we had kids, so we got to travel around, and during that period, we bought this Elvis together in Miami, and it's a painting, and we always thought that it would be kind of amazing if we ever did have kids to put somewhere in a kid's room and blow it up into wallpaper. It's just so much a part of sort of they're growing up here. Like I remember when I was growing up, the swing in the backyard, that was the thing. And I think for them, in that playroom, it's the surfing Elvis. I love hanging out in the kitchen. It just feels clean and simple and it's always bright. And I love that single window in there that so beautifully frames the park. It's like a painting. 
There's a Helen Gifford fixture there that I always thought was so clever and still do. I mean, that's the thing about design. You know, beautiful design, you just never really tire of it. And I love the simplicity of it and the way it frames the view. I still get a little bit giddy when I come in. There is that sense of, should I really be able to be up here? To have this perspective on the city that you love so much, it's thrilling. It's just brought me so much joy over the years.